Hello and welcome to another podcast, uh, the Gospel Rescue Mission. We've got Eric, my audio engineer, video engineer, and all-around genius uh, with me in my office today. And um, I wanted to share a story really geared toward the new guy, the, the new gal, the new person coming into the Gospel Rescue Mission. First of all, if you're new and you're watching this or if you're hearing this on podcast, I just want to tell you, welcome. Welcome to the mission. We're happy you're here and we hope that you're ready for change. Um, the idea of change is something that we deal with a lot here at the Gospel Rescue Mission and it reminds me of a story that I was told by a friend of mine who is a principal at a Christian school uh, here in Grants Pass. Uh, the story goes something like this. Um, in the ancient world, cities had walls around them and the walls were designed to protect the city. And, and oftentimes what would happen is the, the, the elders of the city would sit at the gates and talk and, and watch people coming and going. And, and once upon a time, there was a city much like this, and um, there was a wise man sitting at the gate. And he's sitting there watching people coming and going, and um, up rides a, uh, a man on horseback. And uh, the man on horseback asks him, excuse me, sir, but what kind of men live in this city? And the wise man looks at him and says, well, let me ask you a question what kind of men did you know in the city that you came from? And he says, well, the city that I came from was full of thieves and liars and scoundrels and drunkards. And he, the wise man looks up and says, well, in this city, you will find thieves and scoundrels and, and drunkards and, and liars. And the man looks at him and says, hmm, and rides on into the city. And as he's sitting there and he's watching people coming and going in the city and coming and going from the city, again, another man rides up to him and, and uh, he says, excuse me, sir, what kind of men live in this city? And, and the wise man looks at him and says, well, let me ask you a question. What kind of men lived in the city that you, that you came from? And he says, well, he says, where I came from, there were men of virtue and honesty and integrity, uh, men of, of good character and nobility. And he says, well, sir, in this city, what you're going to find is men of honesty and integrity, of nobility and good character. And the man looks at him and says, hmm, and rides off into the city. And the question is, the, the wise men obviously gave two completely different answers uh, to the two different men. Was the wise man lying? Did the, did the wise man lie to one, tell the truth to one man and lie to the other? Or was he telling the truth possibly to both men? Well, I think everybody knows and is wise enough to figure out that, uh, that the man was telling the truth to both men because what determined what kind of men they were going to find is really the kind of character that they came with, the kind of character that they are to begin with. They're going to find the kind of person that they are, and they're going to associate with the kind of person that they are. So, so for the, the guy who came in who associated with thieves and liars and scoundrels and drunkards, well, he comes in, he's going to look for the kind of people that he's used to associating with. And, and the same is true for the man who associated with virtuous people of honesty and integrity. Here you're going to meet with a, with a coordinator. You're going to meet with RAs. You're going to meet with different staff members who are all the same kind of wise men. They're the same kind of gatekeeper, and they're asking you the same kinds of questions. What kind of person do you want to be? See, you're coming to the Gospel Rescue Mission looking for change. You're saying this, that I need something different than what I had. What, what I had was left me uncomfortable. It was, it was cold outside. I have nowhere to stay. And I need, I need a different life than what's driving me in here. And they, as the gatekeepers, are asking, well, 
Well, how are you going to get there? What what kind of people are you going to associate with when you when you come in? See, because each person is going to find a reflection of who they are. Um, and so it's not uncommon for us to hear among the residents, this place is full of rotten people. They're just trying to play everybody and they're they're just game players and they're they're using the mission and at the same time we'll hear people go no the mission's full of all kinds of great people that that are just trying to make get ahead in life and and everything and really that report is really a reflection of the character of the person who's speaking that's a hard thing for guys to understand guys and gals to understand who come here um so my question for you is, what are you looking for? And really, in asking you, what are you looking for? What I'm, or who are you looking for? What I'm really asking is, who are you? What kind of change are you looking for in your life? And, and, and are you really looking for a change? Are you prepared to confess who you've been? Are you prepared to, to deal honestly with the who you've been that's gotten you here? And are you really prepared to look long and hard at the who you want to become? Who is it that you want to become? If you want to be treated as a man that's respectful, a man of integrity, a man of, of honesty and, and, uh, and virtue, if you want to be really a, a woman who's treated as virtuous and, and who's, who's respectful and who's thought of highly, well, you need to begin to associate with those kinds of people. And if you're going to associate with those kinds of people, then you've got to be determined to become one of those kinds of people. So, so the question is, is, do you need a different life? How different is it? Can you, can you really confess who you really are? And are you prepared to look at who this new person really needs to be? Jesus was talking to a man once and he said, he said, I'm telling you the truth. You'll never see the kingdom of God unless you're born again. You've got to do something new has to happen. A new life has to, has to happen. Something different from what you came to Jesus with. And the good news is here, you can find that. Here at the Gospel Rescue Mission, you can discover that, that, that new life. All I know, all we know is the life that Jesus offers. That's, that's all that we've found that's worth anything, and that's what we teach here, and that's what we share here. And I hope that you're prepared to at least consider that and consider that the life that, came, that I came here with is not the life that I wanted. It's not the life that I'm happy with, and, uh, and it's time for a change. Are you ready for a change? Welcome to the Gospel Rescue Mission. I hope that it's I hope you're looking for a change because it can happen here. We see people change every day. And I hope that your your time here is filled with change. That's the podcast. That's what I have for you here. So, I hope today was uh, was good for you and it, uh, it challenges you and and if it does, uh, share it with a friend. Tell somebody about it and uh, share us on Facebook, like us on the internet. Um, spend time on our website. You'll discover an awful lot about who we are and what motivates the Gospel Rescue Mission, how we do what we do, uh, all of the questions that you have. We try and put answers to them up there. Uh, and don't be afraid to just talk to a staff member, ask somebody along the way. Uh, I hope that your stay here is good. And again, I just want to say welcome.